Today's video is about the Ettinger SI hand grinder. Ettinger is a burr manufacturer from Liechtenstein. The famous Bratza Sette and Lamazoko Swift Mini have burrs from them. Ettinger started making their own grinder called Etsmax in 2017, and later a large manual grinder Etsman. I bought the pilot run for the hand grinder before Christmas for 240 euros. Besides this regular version, there's also a trim version. Ettinger has already teased some 2022 updates with a black crank and possibly different surface polish on Instagram. The headline feature for this grinder is the beautiful aluminium construction and the shaftless design. The branding and grind markers are actually not colored, but just with a coarse texture that diffuses light. Something hard to tell from the pictures and feels high quality in hand. The bottom of the grinder has an amazing finish like a watch movement. It's a pity that it's mostly hidden in daily use. In contrast to a normal hand grinder, the Ettinger has a fixed center cone with the outer burr rotating in counterclockwise direction. This allows for very quick disassembly for cleaning. Once you take it apart, the center cone is reminiscent of the settee burrs. For their larger Etzmann grinder, Etzinger provides different cones for filter and espresso. I asked about it before ordering and they answer that for the hand grinder, the burr is already designed for dual purposes. Although they all come in 32mm, it's a bit surprised to see that the burr is very different from the ones in Etzmann or Sete. After 3 weeks of usage, I would say the reason to get the hand grinder is grinding speed besides the build. Its longer crank doesn't save power compared to the Commandante, but it takes about one third less turns to grind the same amount of coffee, which is about 1.5 times the speed. A substantial difference especially for espresso. Having the grind settings outside also make it easy to switch between brewing methods. Its magnetically attached jar doubles as a tool for adjusting grind sizes, although it's usually sufficient to turn by hand. Speaking of grind sizes, I try to match them to my usual Commandante settings. In photos, they don't look too different, but in practice, the coffee grounds are less uniform compared to the Commandante, especially at coarser settings. This is most evident when doing the slower Clever Dripper. Taste-wise, I find it hard to pick a winner. On V60 and Switch, the coffee from the Commandante is brighter and cleaner, yet sometimes the complexity and sweetness from the Ettinger were also quite enjoyable. Overall, I would agree with their claim that this grinder works well for both filter and espresso. Of course, the Ed's eye is not perfect. I have two complaints regarding retention for espressos and handle design. Let me explain with a sketch. The Ettinger's handle drives the inner barrel, which not only has the so-called rotating ring burr, but also some fins that pushes the ground downwards. When you adjust grind sizes, the middle plastic part pushes the inner cone up or down. Note the funnel shape below the burr. This is not an issue for medium fine grounds, but finer clumps can easily build up there. So on the one hand, its speed makes it great for espresso, but on the other hand, there's more retention than the Commandante. A second issue is with the retractable crank. I understand the aesthetic choice for the handle, but the small gap between the handle and the crank may hurt your hand like a paper cutter. Also retracting the crank can scratch the inside of the grinder. I think this could easily be improved by having the crank pointing more inwards when retracted and opting for a different handle design. For instance, to have a larger gap between the crank and the handle. Lastly, a note about the collection cup. It has a bigger opening than the Commandante jar, 
which will fit perfectly on 58mm baskets, but not on smaller things like the Aeropress or the Night Barista. On a Comandante, one can shake off the ground on the wall, while on the Ettinger one cannot due to the magnetic design, although the metal cup does have less aesthetic and therefore much fewer ground on the wall to begin with. Overall, I think it is a very unique hand grinder with top-notch build quality and a trustworthy track record. It's easy to use and easy to assemble, and most importantly it grinds very fast. It may not replace the Comandante, but a lot of the design details are clearly ahead of some Kickstarter projects. Thank you very much for watching, stay healthy and see you next time.